Welcome back to the fretboard tutorial of the century. Um, in the last video, we added all of these different note names, all of these different beautiful colored dots to the fretboard with the correct note name for every single one. So in this video, we're going to make it a little bit more interactive. What we want to do is when we hover over the frets, we want to show the actual note on the fret uh, individually. So we're going to add some event listeners to the fretboard and we're going to make it work so you see every single note when you hover over it. Let's go back to the code and see what we what we got here. Um, well, we have the fretboard, the whole fretboard. Let me first of all, I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to find the opacity. It's down here somewhere. This is the opacity. Let's set the opacity in the CSS to zero so we can't see them save that they're going to disappear from the fretboard over here and then let's go back to our um, index html because we uh, we want to add an event listener to the whole fretboard here there's no reason to add an event listener to every single node fret div that we have we might as well just add it to the fretboard and then uh, use event propagation find out what the target is uh, and we can do that in our javascript i'm going to make another method called setup event listeners like that and as I talked about before we already grabbed the fretboard so we have the fretboard here and so let's add an event listener to that let's go fretboard add event listener and when we mouse over we want to show the dot so let's type the event mouse over like that and what do we want to do well first of all let's create Oops, an arrow function. And well, first we're going to need access to the event. So let me type that in here. And then I want to find out what the target of the event is. Let me just try to console that, lock that first. Console lock event dot target and see what happens. So I'm going to save that and go back to the browser. And I'm going to open inspect here and the console. Nothing's probably going to happen now because I forgot something. So nothing's happening, but now it's open nonetheless. So what I forgot is I want to set up the event listeners. Let me do that up here in our init. So so the same object. So this set up event listeners and run that function. Now I'm going to go back to the browser and see if something is happening. And something's definitely going on. You can see when I hover over here, lots of things are happening down here. Let me zoom in on this one, actually, a little bit. So you can see all the different things. Um, I'm only interested in the divs with a class of note fret because that's where we want to add our note name. I'm not interested in the class string. I'm not interested in the class uh, fretboard, the div with the class fretboard. So um, we're going to have to do something about that. We're going to have to filter that out. We only want to do something about it when uh, when it's uh, a div with a class of note fret. So let's go back to the code. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go back into our setup event listeners. And here, right after the console log, I am going to set a property on the node.opacity. But before we can do that, we actually have to go back to our styles. So remember, in our styles, this is where we control the visibility of the, um, right here, the opacity of the dot. So if I set it to 1, you can see it over here. If I set it to 0, you cannot see it. So I want to control that with the CSS variable. So up here, I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to call that node.opacity opacity and I'm gonna set that to zero to begin with like that and then I'm gonna scroll down again and I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna use the variable that we just created so var node dot opacity so that should not change anything it still still works here but now I'm able to control it from this CSS variable here I can type one and yeah, we get all of the node dots are visible. Um, but let's start with zero. And then we can go back to our JavaScript. 
But before we do that, before we uh, change anything, I only want to do something if there's actually a class name, if the target actually has a class name of, remember, um, note fret. So let's make a little conditional here first. Um, I'm just going to delete this console log and I'm going to type out if event target class list if that contains a class of course uh, of note fret then we want to do something not if it's the string not if it's the actual fretboard div only if it's a div with a class of note fret then we want to take the event and the target one more time and we're gonna add some styles so let's let's add a style here and the cool thing about that is we only we only add this style to the actual element that we're hovering over not the whole uh, variable thing that we just set up in the in the style sheet before so I want to set a property and I want to set the property we created and that is the I'm gonna put that in quotes like this and we call that note dot opacity and we're going to set that to one so comma one so every time you hover over something here we're going to set the note dot opacity to one the one we created in here right here but only on the element that we are hovering over so let's check if that works that does not work uh <laughs> that's because i forgot Mm -mm 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 -mm. got a dot right here let's try again okay now it works and now it um yeah it actually works you can see whenever i hover over i get the actual note name of that uh of that string and that fret but it's uh it's kind of like a drawing program now i can uh let me reload this and type my name that's not what we want right uh every time we remove the mouse cursor we want to remove the dot as well so we want to set the opacity back to uh, to zero so let's go back to the code and see if we can if we can do that we want to take the fretboard and add another event listener to it so down here I'm gonna go fret board add event listener and we're gonna add well we used the mouse over before so now we're gonna use the mouse out like this and what we're going to do, we're going to run this callback function. And that's going to be an arrow function. And we're going to pass in the event again. Because we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're just going to set the opacity to 0 instead of 1. So I'm going to take event target style set property. And we're going to set the property. I should probably just have copied this, but I'm going to type it out now. Note dot opacity. And I'm going to set it to zero. I'm going to save that, go back, and see what's going on. So when I hover with my mouse over a string and a fret, I'm going to see the actual note name of that. When I move it to another one it's going to disappear it's going to show me the other one and and so on and so forth so now we actually added some interactivity to our fretboard when i hover over the strings i can see what's happening here um wow we have a lot of frets here i should probably just up here let's number of frets that's a lot of frets i think 24 is probably better okay let's go back and of course it still works so that's how we do that. There's not much to it. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. What we want to do in the next video, uh, we're going to start to add some settings and make it even more dynamic because we only have access to uh, to a guitar fretboard right now. What if we want to uh, show a bass fretboard or a ukulele or guitar with a different tuning? So we're going to start uh, making some settings a section up here at the top where you can uh, select what kind of um, instrument you want to use. And then the tuning is going to change with that instrument. And in a future video, we're also going to make an option where if you click that, you will get, uh, you will see all of the note names at the same time 
on the fretboard. So join me in the next video and have fun playing around with this. See you there.